policy decisions that are being made off of the data. The Idaho Department of Health and Welfare is now posting COVID-19 cases for most schools across the gym state. On Friday, the state published its first weekly summary, but it doesn't necessarily show the whole picture as the department is getting the data from a variety of sources. Our Joey Prechtel spoke with one of the state's medical experts about this new feature. Joey, tell us a little bit more about this new tracking system. Well, Kim, this report is the only place where people can go to see a list of COVID-19 cases in pretty much every school across the state of Idaho. Now, there are a couple exceptions. The Department of Health and Welfare isn't listing cases for virtual or online schools. They're also not listing cases at schools that have fewer than 50 students. They say that's due to privacy concerns. However, even with those exceptions, there are still some cases missing from this report. We were really looking for an easy way for public health officials to keep track of what was going on in Idaho schools. So the state published this report, the only place where people can check nearly every school in Idaho for an update on COVID-19 cases. We're pulling together multiple sources to try to come up with as comprehensive a picture as we possibly can, given that we've got, you know, sort of sources from different places. Dr. Katherine Turner is the deputy state epidemiologist for Idaho. She said this report doesn't show every single case reported in an Idaho school. That's because they gather this data in multiple ways from health districts to news reports to school districts themselves. Take Glens Ferry, for example. The district recently switched to online learning for two weeks because of, quote, multiple cases. But if you look at Glens Ferry schools on the report, it lists zero cases. And it basically boils down to our ability to get information from different sources. We may miss a media announcement. We may miss a change in case counts on a dashboard. We wish it could be better and we wish that we didn't have to go to different sources. The report also includes a plus sign next to the number of cases for some schools. This means that Idaho Department of Health and Welfare is able to confirm a certain number of cases, but knows there are more. Whatever we can do to assist communities, parents, teachers, staff, um, leaders, decision makers, um, we're going to try to do. As far as the report itself, Dr. Turner says there isn't anything that jumped out to her. Nothing has concerned me. I think we're probably over being surprised with this outbreak. Now, the Department of Health and Welfare plans to update this report every Friday moving forward. And Dr. Turner also told me that they're open to adding more data to this report. It really all just comes down to how consistent and how reliable that data is. Kim? Well, Joey, a quick question for you. Why do they have to go to these multiple sources? Is there not a requirement for one reporting, one central location for reporting data? Well, Kim, this is that one central location for reporting data because in the past we've reported this that local health districts such as Central District Health and Southwest District Health, they said that they would not be reporting COVID-19 cases by school simply due to HIPAA. That's one of the reasons why I asked Dr. Katherine Turner, the deputy state epidemiologist, that question about are there any concerns with HIPAA at this, con at this point with publishing this report? And she said no, simply because they're doing it on a weekly basis as well as they're taking those you know smaller schools out of the report but when it comes to taking it from a variety of sources that's really what they have so some school districts are reporting them on a dashboard while others announce cases on a facebook page or sometimes they just simply have to turn to news stories to see if a certain school district does have or is reporting any cases so yeah. this is that one central location that people can turn to and that's why they're, they have to pull from all of these different yeah. sources. I guess what I was getting at is maybe make it a mandate that schools have to do this reporting directly to health and welfare so that they don't have to go to all these sources. But understand it's a complicated situation. As she says, really, there are just so many surprises with COVID-19. Joey, thank you.